If you are buying an air wrap because you want your hair to be really curly um, and you know last maybe until the next time you wash your hair, you want to listen to the rest of this video. Hey guys, what is up? I hope everyone is doing well. So today's video, as you can see by the title, is a little bit different to my normal skincare content. But I recently treated myself to a Dyson Air Wrap. Um, well, it's a present for myself for finishing my nutrition qualification. And I wasn't planning on doing this video, but now having used this quite a few times, I just have so many thoughts on it in comparison to how much it costs and I really just want to share my experience, especially if you have very long hair. Now the Dyson Air Wrap, I think everyone knows it is not cheap. Um, in the UK, I paid £449 for it and I kind of just in my head round that up to like nearly 500 quid. <laughs> um, when I'm like looking at that amount of money, I'm just like, yeah, it was 500 quid. So I'm gonna get straight on into it. I'm gonna actually start off with the things I do really like about it. I got the kit, which is the full kit and a little um, tip actually if you do live in London I believe they only have one demo store I don't know if there's any other in the world that have them I'm not too sure but in London there's one demo store and in there you can actually customize what you get inside your box instead of just buying just you know the straight-up package that you can get in lots of different stores the brush heads that I went for I mean, you get your hair dryer. I actually find this so effective and I could definitely use this as a hair dryer. My hair, even though I've got quite a lot of it and um, like my hair is considered to be thick, my strands of hair are quite thin. So yeah, this actually does a really good job as a hair dryer. So I think that's worth mentioning. Then the five, I believe, heads that I picked to go inside, I got the round brush. I really, really like this. It's fantastic to get like a bit of volume in your roots. I haven't done it today, so don't judge my hair right now um, but it's really good to get a bit of volume in the roots or if you just like it's just a soft blowout look so sometimes if I will sh like um, blow dry my hair straight I will just use this on the end just because I kind of like a little bit of a flick at the bottom it just makes your hair kind of have that salon effect and it also makes your hair look a little bit better condition as well I then got one of the smoothing brushes and I got the firm brush so there's two of these there's a firm one and then there's one um, I can't, don't know what they, they call it but it's for basically finer and thinner hair I got the one that's for more coarse, very frizzy, or very curly hair. I love this. I think this might be my favourite um, head so far. It works fantastic, and it works so quickly. This is what um, the main bulk of the video is going to be really talking about, is these curling heads, because... To be straight with you, this is the part I have had the biggest struggle with. So if you are buying an air wrap because you want your hair to be really curly um, and you know last maybe until the next time you wash your hair, you want to listen to the rest of this video. For the larger barrel, I've got essentially kind of a medium sized barrel and this is the newest barrel that they have released. It is the thinnest one that they do. So this one is kind of a new addition before it just used to be um, these two. So yeah, I decided to go for all three. So the first time that I curled my hair, I did all the directions that Dyson say. So I washed it, I took out some of the moisture with the hair dryer and then I curled it with the tong. And what you're meant to do is I'll show on the screen now. So there's these buttons on the air wrap you've got your air control button so how strong the air is and you've got your heat control and then in the middle um, so click up once that's how you turn it on and basically if you say I was curling my hair you would curl the hair hold it for 10 seconds and then you would push up the cold shot hold that down for 10 seconds to cool the curl and then you would release so when I first did it I curled my hair did those instructions took it all out and for that first like 30 minutes, my hair looked amazing. It was bouncy, it looked healthy, great, I was so happy. 20 minutes later, my hair was nearly straight again. Curls did not hold in my hair whatsoever. I was so disappointed. So then next time I washed my hair, I tried again. Um, and this time I used the medium barrel. So um, this one here. And this time I took out the moisture in my hair, but I kind of took it out more at the roots. And I had a spray bottle and I dampened the ends of my hair. I thought maybe my hair needed to be a bit more wet to really hold a curl. So I left the ends quite relatively wet um, and then I curled all my hair that way and then the same thing happened, you know, my hair looked amazing when it first um, was done and then 
an hour later, my hair is literally straight again. At this point, I was so frustrated um, and so disappointed after spending so much money that these curls were not holding in my hair at all. Granted, I've got a lot of hair, so obviously the weight of it um, can definitely pull down that curl. But I was also watching videos on YouTube of people who had exactly the same length hair as me, um, and yeah, were doing the same techniques, and their curls, they were saying were lasting all day, they were sleeping in them all night, and they were like fine in the morning, and I was thinking, what? the hell is going on like why is this not working for me anyway moving on i thought okay let's try with some styling products now something else that was actually really bothering me when i first had tried the dyson the first two times was my top part of my hair here started to go like really frizzy and i had these nice curls but it just wasn't looking sleek do you know what i mean so Something that I now do is I obviously wash my hair and I take out some of the moisture just at the roots with the um, hair dryer attachment. I then switch to the um, smoothing brush attachment, so this is the firm one, and I go through the roots of my hair. So literally probably only about that much, but I split my hair, I do it on the kind of bottom half to really smooth out that root from the top of my head and then I do the top bit. Now once I've done that, I did take a water spray bottle and just redamp the ends of my hair just because they started to dry a little bit too much and then in these clips I went in with the medium curling wand and I curled the hair hold the hair um, on the hot setting for 10 seconds and then push the cold shot up for 10 seconds and then um, release now a step I then added in myself is I purchased a hairspray from Avida I went for the be curly hairspray and um, to give it a go and basically after I finished that um, kind of layer of hair I sprayed the curls and just let them sit um, so I didn't brush through them nothing I just kind of left them really super curly and sprayed them then I repeated all of that same process on the rest of my hair um, and after finishing each section I sprayed the curls with the hairspray. Now once my hair had been fully curled and sprayed with hairspray because I just I cannot stand the crunchy feeling in my hair like when I curl my hair I want it to feel just very natural soft um, and I want it to be like playable do you know what i mean i like i'm someone who likes to touch my hair as well like i like to you know push my parting over things like that i hate crunchy so i took a comb and i just gently teased through the hair and just brushed the curls out to soften them and this was the overall result um, with this barrel now these curls definitely did last they did start to fall out on a few areas but i just topped that up um kind of on the following day or the day after just to kind of refresh the style but overall this lasted so much better than just doing it without any product i think it's really important for you to see the kind of level of curl i'm getting from these barrels because the kind of curls that i have right now if i'm going to be honest when i bought this kit i thought this was going to be the result using the biggest barrel so to be really honest with you guys i am actually so disappointed with the curling barrels um and i'm really in a dilemma right now because half of this set like like i said the um blow dry brush so so um, this one here, the straightening brush and the hair dryer, I love those. And obviously this style I've got right now, I do really love, but oh my God, another thing to actually talk about is how long it takes me. So when I did my hair this morning, because it was using the small barrel, like it took me forever. Like I feel like it might've even took, taken me like an hour to do my hair. And if I'm gonna be honest, this hairstyle does not look like an hour's work to, in my opinion and i think what i'm really struggling with when i'm looking at myself in the mirror is like yes i really like it it's really pretty but is this result any different or any better than what i would have got with my normal curling iron i think the only real big battle um not battle but big pro to keeping it is potentially the less damaging effects that this device is going to have because if this is really going to impact the quality of my hair then i can probably warrant you know spending more money on it because it's worth it um yeah in terms of quality but in terms of the style and the results I'm, i am a bit disappointed i'm not gonna lie um, and i just really wanted to share this video especially for you long-haired girls who have maybe high expectations when you're buying an air app or you're just you know doing your research that being said i am new to this dyson air app and i keep like trying different ways seeing if i can 
find different ways to make a curl last longer. So if you watching this have any tips or have one yourself and have long hair, I would appreciate your suggestions so much in the comments. And also if there's any um, products that you find really help, like hold the style, and also that don't cause any like crunchiness. Like I like products that kind of feel like they're not in your head. Do you know what I mean? Um, they're kind of like my favorites. I like it very natural and I like the movement in the hair. Um, so yeah, all your recommendations I would seriously appreciate. I think another thing just worth noting as well with my experience is that when I bought this, I really had the idea of, you know, I was gonna wash my hair and don't mind spending a little bit extra time just styling it that first time, but I really expected that that style was then gonna last me, you know, a couple of days and then, you know, until I next wash it really. And that is what I achieve normally with my normal curling and like styling tools. So for me, I'm just really disappointed of how quickly the styles are just falling out of my hair and it's becoming like much more work and more hassle. Like I am spending so much more time styling my hair than I normally would. And when you spend like nearly 500 pounds, that is not what I would expect. Please let me know if you have any questions and whether I keep this or not, I haven't decided yet. Um, I will definitely have this for a good like couple more weeks obviously because we're in lockdown. So if you want me to film any videos and show you the results with like the big barrel or you know any of the other attachments of what that actually looks like, I can film those videos um, if you are interested. I really hope this has been helpful. Please, please leave your you know recommendations and advice if you have got an air app and you have any tips. I'll be so grateful for them down below because obviously I've bought a tit and I really do want to love it. Um, so yeah, maybe you guys have some little tips that maybe I'm missing and I'm just not getting with it. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear from you. Anyway, have a wonderful day guys. And thank you so, so much for watching. Please do give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And if you haven't already, do make sure you press that subscribe before you leave. Anyway guys, I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.